the one that's presented to us is not history. It's, it's all lies. Jordan and Kincaid then began exploring these caves. In 1909, a terrifying discovery shook the world, making everyone question what they knew about our planet's history. It started with a simple newspaper story, but it soon became a mystery that has astonished people for over 115 years. What could this horrific discovery be? Join us as we uncover the shocking tale of an adventurous archaeologist who stumbled upon giant skeletons beneath the Grand Canyon. Legends of the Underground City Once upon a time, in a land not too far away, there lived a man named Kincaid. He was an adventurous soul who loved to explore the wonders of nature. His favorite place to explore was the Grand Canyon, a vast and majestic canyon carved out by the mighty Colorado River. One sunny day, he set out on another expedition to the Grand Canyon armed with his trusty hiking gear and a spirit of curiosity, he ventured deep into the heart of the canyon in search of hidden treasures and rare minerals. Little did he know that this expedition would lead him to an incredible discovery that would change his life forever. As he trekked through the rugged terrain of the canyon, he stumbled upon something extraordinary, a set of mysterious footprints leading toward a hidden cave hidden among the towering cliffs. Intrigued by this unexpected find, he followed the footprints into the cave, his heart pounding with astonishment and anticipation. Inside the cave, his eyes widened in astonishment as he beheld a sight unlike anything he had ever seen before. The walls of the cave were adorned with strange symbols and markings, resembling ancient hieroglyphics from a distant land. But what puzzled him the most was the fact that these hieroglyphics bore a striking resemblance to those found in ancient Egypt, a land thousands of miles away from the Grand Canyon. Unable to contain his shocking discovery, he carefully examined the mysterious writings, trying to decode their meaning. As he pondered these questions, a sense of wonder and awe washed over him. He realized that he had stumbled upon something truly extraordinary, a hidden link between two distant worlds, separated by thousands of years and miles, yet connected by the mysterious language of symbols etched into the walls of a remote cave. Determined to unravel the secrets of the cave, he embarked on a quest for knowledge, consulting experts and scholars in the fields of archaeology and anthropology. Together, they pieced the puzzle of the cave, uncovering clues that shed light on its ancient origins and the people who once inhabited it. Through their research, they discovered that the cave was indeed a sacred site used by ancient tribes for spiritual ceremonies and rituals. The hieroglyphics on the walls were not of Egyptian origin, but rather belonged to a Native American tribe that had long since vanished from the annals of history. Armed with this newfound knowledge, he shared his discovery with the world, capturing the imaginations of people far and wide. The story of the Grand Canyon Cave and its mysterious hieroglyphics became a symbol of the enduring mystery and wonder of the natural world, inspiring generations to explore and uncover the hidden secrets of the past. Through this, the Kincaid Tale and the Grand Canyon Cave became known as one of the greatest adventures of all time, a testament to the power of curiosity and the endless possibilities that await those who dare to explore the unknown. Discovery of the Underground City Kincaid's adventure took him far beyond the Grand Canyon and the intricacies of its cave. He embarked on an extraordinary adventure exploring everywhere and other caves shattered across the Blue Planet. Armed with curiosity and a thirst for discovery, he ventured deep into a dense forest where he stumbled upon a hidden cave entrance. Little did he know that what awaited him inside would be a breathtaking revelation beyond his wildest dreams. As he stepped into the cave, his eyes quickly adjusted to the dim light and he beheld a sight that would leave him speechless with wonder. Before him lay a vast underground city, 
its ancient structures looming tall and majestic in the flickering torchlight. Rooms adorned with intricate carvings lined the walls, while granaries overflowed with grains of a bygone era. But perhaps most astonishing of all was the sight of a crypt, its stone walls adorned with hieroglyphics, and within it lay the preserved remains of mummies from a time long past. As he explored further, he marveled at the ingenuity of the people who had once inhabited this subterranean marvel. They were advanced beyond their time, possessing knowledge of metalworking and agriculture that surpassed even the most skilled craftsmen of the modern age. But as he pondered the mysteries of this ancient civilization, a question nagged at the back of his mind. Who were they, and how did they come to dwell in this hidden city beneath the earth? With each passing moment, he found himself drawn deeper into the enigma of the underground city. He meticulously examined every artifact, every inscription, in search of clues that would unravel the secrets of its inhabitants. And as he pieced together the fragments of a forgotten past, a tantalizing theory began to form in his mind. He asked himself some of these questions out of curiosity for the truth. Could it be that these ancient people were not of this world, but visitors from a distant star? Or perhaps they were the descendants of a lost civilization, driven underground by some cataclysmic event. But amidst the astonishing concern of his discovery, he could not shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at his insides. For he knew that with every answer he uncovered, a dozen more questions would arise, each more perplexing than the last. And so, with a heavy heart and a mind full of wonder, he made the solemn vow to continue his quest for knowledge, to unlock the mysteries of the underground city once and for all. As he emerged from the depths of the cave, bathed in the warm glow of the setting sun, he knew that his journey was far from over. The secrets of the ancient city would forever haunt his dreams, researching more on the hidden underground city, the mysterious citadel. Centuries ago, in a land far away, there existed a city like no other. It was not just any ordinary city. It was a place of wonder, mystery, and intrigue. This city, known as the Citadel, held secrets that would baffle even the brightest minds. The story begins with a team of adventurous scientists. Armed with curiosity and a thirst for discovery, they set out to explore the depths of the Citadel, eager to unlock its hidden and adventurous secrets. As they ventured deeper into the heart of the city, they were greeted by a sight that left them awestruck. Everywhere they looked, some statues seemed to have been plucked straight out of ancient Asian civilizations. These statues stood tall and proud, as if guarding the secrets of the citadel. But that was not all they went further. As they delved further into the city, they stumbled upon something even more astonishing. They discovered writings etched into the walls of the citadel writings that bore a striking resemblance to the hieroglyphs of ancient Egypt. These writings told stories of gods and pharaohs, of battles fought and victories won. This discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. For centuries, scholars have believed that ancient civilizations developed independently of one another, each with its own unique culture and customs. But the existence of the Citadel challenged that notion raising questions about the interconnectedness of ancient peoples and the origins of civilization itself. As news of their discovery spread, experts from around the world flocked to the Citadel, eager to study its secrets firsthand. Together they pieced the puzzle of the city, unraveling its mysteries one by one. But the Citadel held more than just historical secrets. It also held clues to the future. Deep within its walls, these scientists uncovered evidence of advanced technology and scientific knowledge far beyond anything they had ever imagined. They found machines that seemed to harness the power of the sun and devices that could manipulate time and space. It was as if the inhabitants of the Citadel had unlocked the secrets of the universe itself. But perhaps the most remarkable discovery of all was the realization that the Citadel was not just a relic of the past, but a beacon of hope for the future for within its walls lay the key to solving some of the greatest challenges facing humanity, from climate change to disease. As they continued to explore the Citadel, they were filled with a sense of wonder and awe, for they knew that they were witnessing something truly extraordinary, 
something that would change the course of history forever. Further Exploration of the Citadel These adventurous scientists with hearts full of curiosity and minds hungry for knowledge set out on a quest to unravel the mysteries of the Citadel and uncover the secrets hidden within its ancient walls further. As they ventured deeper into the heart of the Citadel, they stumbled upon clues that hinted at its origins. Despite their best efforts, these venturesome scientists found themselves at a dead end. They needed help to further explore the Citadel and unlock its secrets, but their requests fell on deaf ears. The powers that be denied them access, leaving them stranded in a sea of uncertainty. But Kincaid was not one to give up easily. With determination burning in his heart, he vowed to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. In his quest to uncover more secrets on this, he set out on a journey that would take him to the farthest corners of the earth in search of answers that lay hidden in the sands of time. Months turned into years as he traversed continents, piecing together clues and following leads that would eventually lead him back to the Citadel. Along the way, he encountered ancient relics and mysterious artifacts, each one bringing him closer to unlocking the secrets of the past. Finally, after years of tireless searching, he stood once again before the Citadel, ready to confront the mysteries that lay within. With a team of fellow explorers by his side, he ventured into the depths of the ancient structure, prepared to face whatever challenges lay ahead. As they delved deeper into the Citadel, they uncovered secrets that defied imagination. Hidden chambers filled with treasure, intricate mechanisms that defied explanation, and clues that hinted at a civilization far more advanced than any they had ever known. But just as they were on the brink of discovery, disaster struck. A sudden collapse trapped these curious and fact-finding researchers deep within the bowels of the Citadel, their only hope of escape fading with each passing moment. But he refused to give up hope. With ingenuity and determination, he rallied his team together, devising a daring escape plan that would see them through the darkest of times. And so, with continuous efforts with much perseverance from this team of adventurous scientists, they fought against the odds emerging triumphant in the face of adversity. As they emerged from the depths of the Citadel, they were hailed as heroes, their bravery celebrated far and wide. But amidst the cheers and accolades, the team lead knew that their journey was far from over. For though they had unlocked the secrets of the Citadel, there were still mysteries left unsolved and adventures yet to be had. And so, with a twinkle in his eye and a sense of wonder in his heart, he set out once again, ready to embark on the next chapter of his extraordinary journey. Exploring the Horrifying Secrets of Sarcophagus At the heart of the underground city lay a peculiar and enigmatic sarcophagus, shrouded in legend and myth with lots of terrifying adventures. The story of the sarcophagus began centuries ago as they descended further into the depths of the underground. They were greeted by a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers, each holding clues to the city's rich history. Amongst the ruins, they discovered the sarcophagus, a massive stone coffin adorned with intricate carvings and symbols. It was unlike anything they had ever seen before, sparking their curiosity and igniting their imaginations. The explorers soon realized that the sarcophagus held the key to unlocking the secrets of the underground city. But as they attempted to decode its mysteries, they were met with unforeseen challenges and obstacles. Legends spoke of curses and traps guarding the sarcophagus, warning those who dared to disturb its slumber. Despite the dangers, the explorers pressed on, driven by their insatiable thirst for knowledge and adventure. As they delved deeper into the underground city, Uncovering some of their old civilization worthy of deep research, they learned from their customs, their beliefs, and their way of life, piecing together the puzzle of the past. But it was the sarcophagus that held the most tantalizing secrets of all, for within its stone confines lay the remains of a powerful ruler, a king or queen whose legacy had been lost to the sands of time. The explorers worked tirelessly to unlock the sarcophagus, using all their skills and knowledge to overcome its defenses. And finally, after months of effort, they succeeded in opening the ancient coffin, 
revealing the mummified remains of the long-forgotten ruler. But their triumph was short-lived, for as they gazed upon the face of the ancient monarch, they felt a strange presence fill the chamber. It was as if the spirit of the ruler had been awakened, seeking vengeance for disturbing their eternal rest. Terrified, the explorers fled the underground city, leaving behind the sarcophagus and its secrets. But the legend of the mysterious coffin lived on, captivating the imaginations of generations to come. The Hopi Indians. Within the vast canyons of the American Southwest, there lived a tribe known as the Hopi Indians. They were the keepers of ancient legends, passed down from generation to generation like precious treasures. Among these legends was the tale of their ancestors' exodus from the underworld, a story shrouded in mystery and wonder. The Hopi people believed that their ancestors emerged from the depths of the earth, guided by the wisdom of their elders and the spirits of their ancestors. According to legend, they traversed through dark and treacherous tunnels until they finally emerged into the light of the surface world. It was a journey fraught with danger, but one that ultimately led them to their new home, a land of promise and abundance. But what secrets lay hidden within these ancient legends? Could they hold clues to the origins of the Hopi people and their civilization? Or were they merely fanciful tales spun by storytellers to entertain and inspire? One of the most intriguing legends of the Hopi Indians is the story of their exodus from the underworld. According to this ancient tale, the Hopi people were once inhabitants of an underground world known as the Sipapuni. It was a place of darkness and despair ruled by a malevolent deity known as Masawu. The Hopi people lived in fear of Masawu, who was said to wield great power and control over their lives. But as the years passed, a courageous leader emerged among the tribe, a man named Spider Woman. With her guidance and wisdom, the Hopi people began to plan their escape from the clutches of Masawu and the underworld. The journey was long and perilous, filled with many trials and challenges, but through their determination and faith, the Hopi people persevered, guided by the light of Spider Woman's wisdom. And finally, after many days and nights of travel, they emerged into the bright sunlight of the surface world, leaving behind the darkness of the underworld forever. But the legend of the Hopi Exodus is not just a story of escape, it is also a tale of rebirth and renewal. For the Hopi people, Emerging from the underworld symbolized a new beginning, a chance to start anew and build a better future for themselves and their descendants. It was a journey of hope and optimism, fueled by the belief that anything was possible if they remained true to their values and traditions. Today, the legend of the Hopi Exodus continues to inspire and captivate people from all walks of life. It is a testament to the resilience and strength of the human spirit, and a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope for a brighter tomorrow. As the echoes of ancient legends resound within the canyons of the American Southwest, the Hopi Indians continue to keep alive the traditions and stories of their ancestors. For them, these legends are not just tales of the past, they are a living, breathing part of their cultural heritage passed down from generation to generation with love and reverence. Ancient Discoveries in the Grand Canyon Archaeologists have found some incredible stuff that gives us clues about the ancient world. They found the bones and fossils of creatures that lived millions of years ago. Some of these creatures were like ancient sea creatures, such as trilobites, brachiopods, and crinoids. These animals could only live in deep water, so it seems like the Grand Canyon was once covered by a huge ocean. But that's not all. They also found fossils of plants, bugs, and animals that lived on land. These fossils are really well preserved and are hidden in the layers of rock. By studying them, scientists can figure out what kinds of plants and animals used to live in the Grand Canyon a long time ago lost treasures, and hidden truths. Imagine a world where ancient secrets are kept locked away, far from the eyes of curious explorers. 
David Hatcher. Childress, a famous writer, believes that the U.S. government is hiding astonishing treasures from us all. He thinks that just like in the movies, where heroes find hidden treasures, the government has secret warehouses filled with priceless artifacts. Childress even compares this to the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark, where the hero's discovery is hidden away. He says this cover-up started way back in 1881, when a famous scientist named John Wesley Powell put someone named Cyrus Thomas in charge of hiding these treasures. This secret division of the Smithsonian, called the Bureau of Ethnology, has been keeping these discoveries hidden ever since. But why would they do this? Childress thinks there's a big mystery behind it all, and he's determined to uncover the truth. When Thomas started working at the Smithsonian, he believed that there was a special group of people who built mounds a long time ago, even before the Native Americans. This idea, called diffusionism, says that different cultures and civilizations have always traded and learned from each other, even if they were far apart. But the Smithsonian thought differently. They thought civilizations stayed separate and didn't influence each other much, especially if they were separated by big bodies of water. Childress's story doesn't just talk about how some archaeological discoveries might have been hidden. It also talks about the interesting arguments between different groups of smart people in the world of science. The story happened in places like the Ohio and Mississippi Valleys, where people lived in advanced societies. Some people used to believe that these societies hardly ever talked to others, like the Aztecs, Toltecs, and so on. Imagine a big river that goes all the way from Canada to Mexico, like a super long snake. Some people think that the folks who lived near this river were all alone and didn't know anyone else. But that's like saying, People who live near the Black Sea never met people near the Mediterranean Sea. Deep in the ground in the American Midwest, there are ancient hills called mounds. And guess what? Inside these mounds, there are clues about a super cool and busy society that lived there long ago. Their cities were as big as the ones in Europe. When scientists dig into these mounds, they find more than just old pots and tools. They found places where people were buried, and some of them were really tall, like giants. A long time ago, in the 1930s, scientists found some of these tall skeletons in a place called the Spiro Mounds. It must have been crazy to see them back then. But now, no one knows where these astonishing skeletons are. They've disappeared, just like a mystery from a storybook. In 1892, something astonishing happened in Alabama. Frank Burns found huge stone coffins while he was looking at rocks. These coffins were really big, almost as tall as a giraffe. They were made by heating rocks and carefully shaping them with special tools. The cool part is, Frank sent his discovery to a famous museum called the Smithsonian in 1984. But then things got super weird. A guy named Frederick J. Pohl found out about Frank's discovery and asked the Smithsonian about it. Guess what? They had no idea what he was talking about. Even though their records said they got the coffins, they couldn't find them anywhere. How could giant stone coffins just disappear? Eight years later, the Smithsonian said they found them. But wait, there's more. The coffins were stuck in a dirty warehouse with asbestos, so nobody could get to them. It's like they're hiding from us. Once upon a time, during a big war, a group of people in Alaska found a big mound with huge bones inside. These bones were much bigger than normal human bones, like two or three times bigger. Many people saw them and agreed on how massive they were. The Smithsonian, a big museum, took these bones, but after that, nobody talked about them anymore. It's like the end of the story disappeared. This mysterious discovery adds adventure to history because nobody knows what happened to these giant bones or why they were kept secret. It makes us wonder about our past and what else might be hidden underground. People from Alaska to Mexico City have heard this astonishing story. It's a puzzling mystery that even big museums like the Smithsonian can't solve. Imagine if the skeletons in the Smithsonian Museum were actually real. The government has secret evidence suggesting that a super smart civilization once lived in North America way before the Native Americans came, but they want to keep it a secret. Most scientists say it's silly, 
but the Hopi and other tribes near the Grand Canyon really believe it. According to Hopi stories, when the first people came out of the Grand Canyon, they sent a message to the Sun Temple for peace. But the messenger never came back. Still today, in Hopi villages, elders sit on roofs at sunset, hoping the messenger will return. They believe that when he comes back, the ancient land will be given back to the first people. Importance of Kincaid's Discovery to Humanity Imagine a world where creatures as tall as skyscrapers roamed the earth, their bones lying dormant beneath the rocky layers for centuries. This shocking revelation sparked a wave of astonishment and curiosity among scientists and explorers alike. The discovery of these colossal skeletons sheds light on a mysterious chapter of our planet's history, one that had long been shrouded in mystery and speculation. Who were these giants? Where did they come from? And most importantly, what lessons could we learn from their existence? As news of the discovery spread like wildfire, people from all corners of the globe flocked to the Grand Canyon, eager to catch a glimpse of the ancient remains. Children gazed in awe at the towering bones, their imaginations running wild with visions of a world inhabited by giants. But amidst this shocking discovery, there were also questions and concerns. Some feared that disturbing the ancient remains would unleash a curse upon the land, while others worried about the implications of such a monumental discovery on our understanding of history. Scientists worked tirelessly to unravel the mysteries surrounding the giant skeletons, piecing together clues from the past to paint a clearer picture of what life was like in ancient times. They studied the bones, analyzed the soil, and conducted experiments to unlock the secrets hidden within the earth. What they discovered was nothing short of extraordinary. The giants were not merely tall beings, but highly intelligent creatures with advanced knowledge of science, technology, and the natural world. They lived in harmony with nature, harnessing its power to build magnificent structures and cities that rivaled even the most modern metropolises of today. But as with all great civilizations, their downfall was inevitable. A catastrophic event, perhaps a natural disaster or war, wiped out the giants, leaving behind only their massive skeletons as a testament to their existence. As the sun set over the Grand Canyon, casting long shadows over the ancient remains, a sense of wonder and reverence filled the air. The giants may have vanished from the earth, but their legacy lives on, inspiring generations to come to explore, discover, and dream of what lies beyond the horizon. What are your thoughts on the giant skeletons discovered under the Grand Canyon? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section.